Let's continue now and take a look at another component that's often vital to, uh, to measurement and diagnostic analysis, the injector. Launch Pico. I'm going to begin from scratch again with the pop-up menu from Automotive. And select Automotive. Actuators. Actuators are devices that use a coil, therefore current. So there'll be a whole range of components within that section. And down to injector and petrol. You also notice that diesel injectors are provided for with the common rail. And now we have a whole host of choices. I want to measure injector voltage and current, which is next to the last option. So I'm going to tab down to that and engage. And once again, we're into the help menu. And here, I'll just pop through this. A whole range of advice based on what an injector is, how to connect. It's discussing the use of the inductive current clamp. And for me, that's one of the most vital tools. You'll really get to love that tool when you use it. And there we have the sample waveform. And we'll discuss the two images that we, uh, we pick up in real time in a moment. Notes on the waveform, some technical information, and of course we can then simply minimise. And then we can always go back and refer to that data if we need to. There's a sample waveform that's simply frozen on the page, ready to push the space bar, and then we're live and running. David, if you can uh, fire up, please. attenuator is still in of course and we need to use the attenuator because this is an inductor or coil and let's run live right you can see now that the image is running live let's take the triggering channel the actual pulse which is uh, channel A in blue the actual fuel delivery period is uh, clearly displayed between the grounding of the power signal to the point where the injector switched off and get this back EMF, which is one of the critical diagnostic uh, measurements we can observe. And it's because of that that we use the attenuator so the whole thing fits on the screen. For me, current tells far more about what's actually taking place. And you may notice this little event here, this knee jerk reaction within the, the current ramp. That's the instant that the pintle actually snaps back against the spring. So in effect, that's the point where the injector pintle actually does leave its seat and open fully. So you could argue that's the point of uh, commencement of fuel delivery. And you'll also notice that it's current control. So the PCM is actually controlling the, the, the maximum amount of current delivered to that injector. And this little trace here on the pulse, on the waveform pulse, is the point when the injector actually closes, physically closes mechanically. So for obvious reasons, the mechanical operation of the injector is delayed slightly from the actual electronic switch on and close. From that we can measure uh, current flow, determining whether the PCM is actually switching sufficient current through the injector, if the injector itself has a good coil, in other words, is, it, uh, is the current too great, is there a short? Uh, poor current would probably, recommend, uh, would probably suggest poor power supply or poor ground reference through the PCM. So from this we can really discuss any any combination of faults that we may find with this particular component and of course if you need any assistance we've got the whole uh, help screen minimized on the bottom spacebar so everything you need once again is to hand and the setup couldn't be simpler all of you are preset menus and basically done what I've actually done what I've been told from the screen setup